Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can fill a photo in with text with the Cricut to make this Father's Day picture frame. I hope you enjoy this video. If you do, give it a thumbs up. I would love it if you subscribed if you are new, and let's get into the tutorial. The first thing I wanna do for my project is grab a square, and I'm gonna make this the size of my picture frame. So my picture frame is 11 by 15, so I'll come up here and make the width 15 and the height 11. I'll put a picture of what the frame looks like, but it's actually just a clear frame and they have an 8 by 10 photo example inside the frame. So I can really make my image as big as I want to, and I'll show you that in just a minute. So now I'm going to go over to my uploads and upload my picture. I'm just going into my downloads folder and I'll select the picture that I want. Then I'm gonna choose complex and hit continue. Then I will hit continue again. I'll select print then cut image and hit upload. And it might load for a little bit just because this is a bigger image to bring into Cricut Design Space. Now I'll select that and insert that into Cricut Design Space. I'm gonna make this smaller because it always seems to bring it in really big. And this is the picture of my husband and my kids. And this will be a Father's Day present for him. Okay, so I have my picture. Now I'm gonna grab my text. So I'm gonna go over to text and the font that I'm using is called Punch. I downloaded it from defont.com. It's very similar to Impact. So this one's impact and then this one is punch, but I actually liked this one better. I'm going to type in dad in all caps and I'll show you why. So I'm going to slide this down here and make it bigger. Inside of the letters for these are more narrow than the impact font. So for me, it made it a little bit easier to include their faces in here. The letters are a little far apart. So what I'm going to do is go to my letter space and bring them closer. And Cricut's a little weird with this. It brings the D closer to the A compared to this D. So what I'm gonna do is just ungroup it. And then I'll hit shift on my keyboard and bring the D in a little bit. And by hitting shift on my keyboard, it'll keep it lined up at the bottom. Now I'm gonna highlight over all three and I want to group this back together. So now what I'm gonna do is bring this over my image and I'm gonna line it up with their faces. I'm trying to make sure that their faces will be inside the letters as much as it can so that you can see them. Now, the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to slice out each letter with the image because I want to be able to make this pretty big in the frame. And actually, I'll show you an example if I don't do that. So if I were just to slice out dad out of this image, um, first I would need to weld dad together. If you're new with slicing in Cricut Design Space, you can only slice two layers at a time. So if I have dad group together and I try to slice it out of this picture, I'll hit shift on my keyboard and select the picture. The slice button will be grayed out. That's because you can only slice two layers and since dad's grouped together, each letter is a layer. So I'm gonna weld this together and make it one layer and now if I select the dad letters in the print and cut picture, now I can slice it. It almost looks like nothing happened, but you'll just have to slide this out of here and you can see that it's sliced, which is really cool. But my problem with this is that if you look over, there is a warning sign for my image. If I select that, it says that the image is too large Cricut has a max size for its print and cut and it shows what the image size is. So I would have to make this smaller to about there, which would still work, but I do want the image to be bigger to fill the frame a little bit more. So what I'm going to have to do is slice each letter out separately. So I'm gonna hit undo on my keyboard and hopefully that all made sense. Um, let me know if you have any questions in the comment box. Okay, so I'm back where I just had these letters grouped together. I don't want to weld them since I'll be do them, doing them separately. 
So I have the letters lined up and now I'm just gonna slice out each one. I'm going to select this and it's grouped together so I need to hit ungroup and I'm going to select the D and you can see that's just one layer. I'm going to hit shift on my keyboard and select the picture. So now this D is going to be slicing out this image. I'll come down and hit slice and it brings the layers kind of weird. You can see the D and the A disappeared, but it's actually behind the picture and you can see it in the layers panel here. The layers panel really helps to kind of see what's going on. So I always recommend if you're new with Cricut to really pay attention to the layers panel over here. But now what I want to do is slice, I'll slice out the next D. So I'm going to come over to my layers panel. I'll select that and you can see where it's at, even if it's behind the picture. And I'll hit shift on my keyboard and select the picture again. Then I'll hit slice. So now I've sliced out both D's. Now I need to do the A. So I'll come over to my layers panel and I'll select the A. I'll hit shift on my keyboard and I'll just select the picture. I'm just clicking out here. You can also click in the layers panel and I'll hit slice. Now all three of these letters have been sliced out. So what I'm gonna do is move the picture. If you come up here, it looks like nothing happened, but it's actually behind here. So you can move these out and we have our picture. Now I'm going to just delete these because we don't need it. I'll just hit delete on my keyboard. Now I'm going to select all three of these. I'm going to group them together while I'm figuring out the sizing so that it all stays the same size. I'm gonna slide this over my picture frame and this is where I wanna figure out how big I wanna make it. I am going to be adding text at the top and the bottom and cutting it out with vinyl so I don't wanna feel the, fill the entire thing. I'm gonna highlight over my rectangle in Dad and I'm gonna hit Align and Center. I think that looks good. Now I'm going to go over to my text and I am going to grab a different font. I'm gonna grab I Love Glitter, which is from Defont also. I am gonna be cutting some words out of vinyl. I'm gonna type in I love, oops, it's all in caps. I love you. I'm just going to bring these letters in and I'm gonna hit ungroup and I'm just gonna move them myself here really quickly. I'm gonna just highlight over these letters just to move it all together and then I might move the eye over a little bit. I'm gonna highlight over this entire thing and what you'll wanna do when you're connecting script font is you want to weld it otherwise there'll be cut lines in between these so you'll always want to weld that together i'm going to bring this up here and i'll make this smaller then i'm going to grab another text and type in my kids names i'm going to type josh i want the little heart that this font comes with so i'm going to hit shift and do the underscore and then i will type in quinn my daughter's name Oops. <laughs> I'll bring the letter spacing together. Then I'm going to hit ungroup and just line this up myself. I like to select more than one letter at a time. It makes it a lot easier. Now I'm going to highlight over the whole thing and hit weld again. Then I'm going to bring this back up here. Now I'm going to go back to my text and type in the year. I'm going to do 2021. I'm just going to put that down in the corner here. Now that I have all of that ready, I'm just going to delete my rectangle. This is my favorite way to figure out sizing is grab a square in Cricut Design Space and make it the size of your blank. I feel like I say that in like every video, but it really helps a lot. I'm going to delete that. Now I'm ready to click on make it. You can see it's going to cut it on three different pages for my print and cut and then this will be my vinyl. First, I'm going to hit send to printer. I'm going to keep the bleed on and then I am going to select use system dialog and I'll hit print. 
Then it'll come up with this screen. It'll look a little different depending on what printer you have. And the reason why I want to bring this up is because I want to bring it to best. And that makes a huge difference when you're printing out on printable vinyl. So I would definitely recommend that. Then I'll hit print. I place the printable vinyl in the printer. You'll want to pay attention to which way your printer prints. For mine, I need to place it with the back facing up. I have an Epson Workforce printer. I get a lot of questions about which one I have, but I believe the one I use is discontinued. Once it's done printing it off, then I'll ask me to choose what type of setting, and I'm going to choose printable vinyl. So I'm going to go up to Browse and come down to printable vinyl, then I'll hit done. I'm using my green Cricut mat because it has lost a lot of its stickiness, but I would normally recommend the blue light grip mat for printable vinyl to help remove it a little bit easier. The Cricut machine is going to read the black sensor marks first, then it'll cut out the letter. I'm using Cricut printable vinyl. There are so many different brands of printable vinyl, but I do really like this one. I usually pick it up at Michael's. It'll have a check mark once that has printed and cut, and now it'll move on to the next one, as you can see here. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm going to hit send to printer. I'll select this, uh, use system dialog, and then hit print. Then I'll choose best and hit print. I'll follow the same process for this. The printer will print out the vinyl, and I'll have the Cricut cut it out. Then I'll move on to the last letter. Now that it's done doing all three print and cut, it'll move on to the vinyl. So I am just going to come up here and switch it to vinyl. I'm using Oracal 651 permanent vinyl. I'll have the machine cut it, then I'll weed it out. I bought this frame at Target. I can link this one down below in the description box. I opened it up and it has two glass frames in there, so I remove one, the one on the back, which is the one I'll be adding the vinyl to. I'm going to use my Cricut mat to help me line up my design. I absolutely love this thing. I use it all the time for weeding to help protect my desk, and I also like to use it to help measure and line up designs. Here, I'm just cutting out and weeding my printable vinyl letters. I decided to start with the A first since I wanted that in the center. I found the center of my Cricut mat which was the 6 inch line. Then I removed the backing of my printable vinyl and lined the center of the A up with the 6 inch vertical line and I also made sure the bottom of the A wasn't crooked by lining it up with the horizontal line. Next for my D, I decided to take just the bottom of the backing off so I could set most of my design down when lining it up and it made it so much easier. Once I had it lined up, I removed the backing and slowly pressed the letter down. I did the exact same thing with my other letter D. Next, I add my vinyl words to my transfer tape. I love this transfer tape. I buy it from Expressions Vinyl, and I have a link down in my description box if you're looking for a good one. It's not clear, so I don't use it when I really need to line something up precisely, but it works really well. I scrape the backing of the vinyl, then I remove the backing and set the vinyl on the glass, then I remove the transfer paper. I had placed the 2021 down and placed the glass back in the frame and the border of the frame covered part of the 2021, so I decided to take it off. I placed it back in the frame and here's how it turned out. I love this. I thought it was so fun to put together. I hope you enjoyed it as well. Once again, if you did, I would love it if you gave a thumbs up and if you subscribed if you are new to my channel. And I hope you all have a great day. Mm -hmm.